So the British monarchy, is it going to survive? Can they get rid of it that easily? Could there be a soft uh, uh, regency? What's that? Hope you like this video. If you do, please do like it. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Let's have fun. Wow. Cool. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. I mean, it seems like um, that's the question. Will, will you know? Will things uh, just destroy the monarchy, and will it poof disappear? And I think it's a lot more difficult than that. And uh, some uh, have suggested could there be a soft regency where uh, Charles takes over, and then maybe uh, William really has a lot of the responsibilities. So I don't know. Let's draw some cards and see what happens. So, how would they get rid of the British monarchy? I mean, it's not that simple. There's 54. Um, uh, what, what do they call it? Other countries that are involved in this whole thing, and um, then you've got to split up the property. Um, of course, some of the properties they don't own at all, it belongs to the crown, which I suppose is there as long as they are the crown, but then they're not. And then what about that talk about could could actually, uh, they have some sort of a soft regency, and for Americans who don't know what a regency is, uh, it's when uh, the uh, monarch is uh, infirm or for whatever reason can't carry out their duties, and so uh, the next one coming up, or perhaps a body uh, appointed to conduct the business in 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 the interest of the monarch, I suppose, uh, handles that. So could they make uh, Prince William uh, like a soft regent to uh, King Charles? I don't know. What do you think? So we'll look at it. So I'll ask those questions. We'll get at least two, maybe three questions out of this and see what happens. Interesting. The British monarchy, can it go away? Okay, so these are, again, some amazing cards. The Touchstone Tarot by Cat Black, who's an Australian artist. She lives in on the western uh, southwestern, I think, part of Australia. But the box is so great, you really feel like you got something worthwhile in that. The instruction booklet is um, is very good, as a matter of fact. It's not in color, but it's got some really good uh, ideas for divination. Tells you a little bit about the artist, so that's handy. And then the cards. I mean, look how beautiful they are. Even just the back is gilding. You can feel that gilding right there. But the front, these cards are not hard to decipher, but they really focus in on the face. Uh, you'll notice all of these are, you know, from the bust up, from the waist almost up. So they really make you identify with the face when you're trying to make the interpretation. Cat Black is amazing. Um, I don't know how uh, she came up with this, but she came up with some beautiful, beautiful artwork. And all digital. So there's not a painting somewhere that looks like this. Of course, these are made from actual uh, paintings. And, you know, I, I do this so that everybody can look at these cards and maybe you don't get to see uh, kind of different kind of cards. And, um, and this gives you that opportunity. I always wanted to see what the tarot readers were using, what the cards looked like when I was uh, only just uh, being a viewer. Is it a valid question to ask that, you know? Because, um, I mean, most of us have to recognize that that's not something that could happen quickly or easily or without uh, some um, suffering, you know, something's going to happen uh, among, among the British people. And, uh, and can you imagine the protests across the world by all the various countries involved with the monarchy as, uh, what are they, a protectorate of a sort? I mean, so I don't know. I don't think that can happen. And then when you talk about um, passing it directly on to William, I mean, there's a lot of people. I saw a poll that said uh, something like 10% of the people wanted uh, Charles to have it, and 60% and, uh, uh, were in favor of William uh, taking control. So where are the other folks? <laughs> so I don't know. It's it's amazing. And uh, all these uh, governments changing around the world. Of course, you have the blaring example right now of Afghanistan. That's sad. You have, previous to that, uh, USA was taking the stage with the insanity that's going on over here and a poor... Uh, uh, Joe Biden trying to put a, a dignified face on our government. Jeez. And then, uh, I don't know. I'm not sure what's happening in, in France or, or Germany. So, yeah. What will the monarchy, is the monarchy in peril? Let's say that. Because it can be in peril uh, towards 
uh, eventual banishment. So is the monarchy in, in such peril that it may be on a course to being uh, uh, banished? I guess that's what they call it. However, what's the term? I should have looked it up. But uh, that's the question. And I think the cards will understand that. So we'll take uh, six. One, two, three, four, five. And six. So, yeah. Interesting. I mean, I never thought um, the, of that as even something that could actually happen. But I guess uh, they chop off their head, George. So, this is the self of the question. Uh, is the monarchy in in, um, in, per in peril uh, and, and going to be eventually uh, abolished? So, well... This says no, because this right here is the Six of Wands, and the Six of Wands is celebrations. And uh, this fellow is flying the flag uh, proudly and almost looking at you to say, don't even think about it. Okay? So who is this? Is this William? <laughs> so we'll see. Uh, the challenge to that, then, is going to be the Ten of Wands. You know, the Ten of Wands just reaffirms what we all know, that it's a huge burden it's a, but it's, it's beautifully uh, laced together with this lovely it looks like a silk ribbon and um and so this person is is managing the bundle that is the monarchy um very comfortably actually when this is usually a card that uh, shows a lot of distress getting this, that uh all those plans all those actions up the hill so yeah that kind of backs it up that no we're doing just fine thank you the basis of this reading is judgment well yeah it is of course you know all of the people are always and this is i don't think this is divine judgment i think this is uh mortal uh, judgment so we're all uh judging uh the leaders uh, all the time and uh, and so we're just waiting for the next opportunity to drop a judgment uh, on that uh, family uh, sadly i feel the past to this reading for uh, are they on the on the on the road to being abolished and so far this is a pretty strong no uh in the past this reading is the nine of wands and it, again it just says look We've had lots of issues in the past. We have a plan uh, to move this forward. And uh, just like I'm showing you how we'll carry this plan is how we will carry the plan. So, my goodness. In the sky of this reading uh, is uh, the Nine of Swords. And it's not to say that, you know, there aren't lots of issues uh, that come with uh, the territory. And uh, probably a lot more than we think of every day. We just think that they go up and, and uh, cut a ribbon and everything's nice. But uh, there's an awful lot. Uh, to be considered here. Uh, so, very interesting. Uh, will the monarchy, is the monarchy on a path to uh, destruction? And this so far says no. It's hard. It's a hard job. It's, this verifies in several ways that it's a very hard job, but no. And then the likely outcome is the knight of coins. And, you know, the knight is, is, the, is the royal who's going to fight. Well, I guess not a knight. It's not really royal, but he's in the royal court. He's like the, 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 the enforcer of the situation. And so this is a lot of value. Okay. He's going to, to to make sure to guard this issue and this knight looks very capable so i would say no you know that's not even that's not even a consideration so let's see i wonder um what about this the soft regency i wonder if we can uh, talk about that in just four cards is there a possibility uh, let's not say a possibility will there be a soft regency at some point during uh charles's um reign uh, where william uh, takes over uh, i don't think we're going through a soft regency now uh, regarding the queen and charles so let's shuffle these up a little bit for that question so will there be a soft regency you know something somewhat obvious that oh, what's going on between uh, william and charles at some point during charles's reign gosh i hope these are the right way will there be a soft regency uh during charles's reign with william as the regent so the self of that question is the um, Eight of Swords. And, you know, this tells me that um, this issue that we're talking about is kind of loosely wrapped. You know what I mean? Is it, It's something that um, could be undone and, I uh, guess, put into service uh, if it needed to be. It's not that difficult a situation to find your way uh, out of or into. That's how I read that. The um, environment that that would be in, then, is going to be the Empress. Of course it is. You know, it's up to um, whomever is in charge. Okay. Interesting that this shows an Empress. It may have just been the, the most convenient card uh, that the, um, you know, the cards could, could 
bring me for this, but I think it is up to a uh, monarchy. And if you were talking about, as a matter of fact, a, um, a regency, of course, the last time we had it was with, with, uh, with the Empress, uh, Queen Victoria, uh, when uh, her son uh, Edward uh, was regent. I think he even have a huge regent boulevard that, that he built. And I think the maybe the the um, uh, the royals maybe even own that property outright. I'm not sure. All along uh, Empire Empire Boulevard. But anyway, so yeah, so this uh, brings to mind that yeah, the emperor would have to be weakened uh, for this to happen. That would be the environment that it would have to be in. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, the uh, hopes and the fears for something uh, like that. It's going to be ah the fool. It would be a completely new journey in so many years. We had 60 years of the monarch who's there. We had the uh, entire time that her father uh, was in charge. And then uh, before that. Uh, so, you know, this would be a completely new journey. And um, um, that's uh, what we'd be looking at. And then the final outcome for that, I guess that w I would ask uh, is then, is that uh, certainly what's going to happen? It's two of wands and it's short-term planning. So if something like that happens, uh, it's, it's going to um, involve short-term planning because the region is just there until they become the king. So it's not a, a long-term situation, especially in the, in the situation with Charles and William. Charles is, what, 72 years old or, uh, about, I think. So, yeah, it wouldn't be a long-term situation if it was. So that's interesting. Interesting. So very um, straightforward, I think, and I, I think this represented. And so I said, uh, would uh, there is there is the uh, monarchy putting itself in danger of, of being on the wrong path? I said, no, we're celebrating. Everything's great. We're flying the flag. We're moving in, and uh, nothing's going to go wrong. And then the, and there's in the um, the challenge to it was the ten of wands, which is just saying, look, it's always been a hard job. It will always be a hard job, but we can handle it. The base of the reading was judgment. You know, we are being judged all the time. That's the monarchs, in other words. We are always being judged, and we're fully aware of that. And then the uh, past of that reading was, look, it's always been a hard job, like the nine of wands. We've dealt with those issues before. We have a plan in our arms right now, and we just want to show you that this is how we expect to deal with the problems, just like we always have, under our arm, well taken care of. And then the sky of that reading was, look, it's not denying that there uh, are uh, nightmares. There are lots of issues. There's a lot to worry about when, with 54 countries under your belt. And then uh, the likely outcome of the whole thing for that first part, are, are they on the road to peril? No. They're, they're the knight of value, the knight of coins. And they're going to make sure this gets done in the name of the, um, uh, the monarchy. And so then we said, what about a soft regency? Could that happen? And so I get the uh, eight of swords, which to me is just telling me, you know, we can loosen up these binds and, and work that if we have, and put this person in place if we have to. And if we would have to, it'd be because the uh, emperor is a little weakened. And the last time this happened, as a matter of fact, is when we had the uh, empress uh, Victoria. And her son was the monarch, which is Ballard. And then uh, the um, hopes and fears for that is it's a whole new journey. It hasn't been done in so long that this would be a new situation to deal with, and not and not a long one with these uh, the two uh, in the sky of this the two of wands short term planning. It would just be a temporary fix for something that's just about taken care of. That's how I see it. I'm Mark. My journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now. Oh, <laughs>